Ready? Yep. Oh. That's not a brutal. It was. Ooh. Everything hurts. Yeah, it's getting cold. Pain is weakness leaving the body. Are we recording? Yes, oh shit. <laughs> All right, so if you guys didn't know, in certain states, there's this weird white stuff that comes from the, like the, the sky, and, and, and what it does is it makes the ground cold, makes it slippery, makes it uncomfortable. What the hell are you doing? No! 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 You can't do much on it. Besides judge it tremendously, pour salt on it and pray it goes away. And I'm not talking about any sort of diseases or anything that would come out of your hair if you scratched your head too hard. We're talking about like winter and we're talking about how if you live up north or you don't live in Texas and California, which just like happens to be 80% of where everybody lives, you have to deal with winter time, which means if you're driving your car all year round, you need some tires that are gonna get you from point A to point B without miraculously getting into point D, which you were never actually anticipated of going to because you slid into to some sort of ditch or somebody's house, in which case both happen every single year. And every single time it snows up here in Wisconsin, we always see some ridiculous story of somebody flying into like the third story like dorm room because they just didn't have winter tires. So we thought we would help you. We are here to save children. We are here to save college students because we're here doing the, the, the government service by telling you the best winter tires that you should probably think about buying if you're looking to get a good set of winter tires. So I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. Don't forget to subscribe and we're gonna jump right into it starting off with probably the most iconic tire and for you guys to understand we are going for what we really think is just one of the best winter tires now there are other winter tires out there so if you don't hear your favorite brand don't get mad but these are ones that we've ran in the past that we've really enjoyed and that a lot of people that we help get these tires they've really enjoyed as well so we're starting off with the blizzax ws80 so the predecessor was the ws70 which did have some very good things to it but the ws80 is actually a really big step up in terms of technological technological advancement. I don't know why that was so hard to say and a bunch of other stuff and we're gonna get right into it. So it uses nanoprotec multi-cell compound which is pretty much just like water loving hydrophilic coating and essentially what it does is it keeps water at bay when you're going through in winter and slush and everything in between. Now one of the biggest misconceptions is that the more tread that you have on a winter tire the better off you'll be and that's not true. It all comes down to the channels and how it disperses the snow and slush the best way that's gonna get you the best traction hands down it's the same thing with ice so what it also has is what we call these like microscopic bite particles which are like these mini studs and they allow the compound to stay flexible in freezing conditions below obviously zero degrees and everything like that what it honestly really allows you to do is when your tire is running around on this freezing cold slushy ground that we love to call our native roads six months out of the year these particles and this coating essentially helps the water stay away from the tread pushes it away and then also just gets as much traction onto the ground to help the tire stay connected and what it also does is with the channels that are set up with the tread design is it evacuates the water in a way that actually keeps it away from the inside of the tire versus the outside of the tire so it actually escapes the water away from the vehicle which helps a lot in terms if you have the same tires on the front and the back and those little bite particles act as studs on the tire which is really cool and it's molded in a directional tread design which helps with that channel water and all the slow slush and all that sort of stuff. The WS80 has these zigzag sipes which essentially help with all the channeling for the water and everything like that. Now the WS80 isn't like the most affordable winter tire but it is probably one of the best and if you go out on the internet a lot of people will say WS80 or Blizzak or bust because there really isn't anything else like it. In terms of a lot of the testing that they do with this tire it competes on dry performance, it competes on wet performance, it competes on cold performance as some of the best but where the WS80 truly shines is in its actual mix of water and snow and everything that has to do with slush. It does the best in terms of going against the competition in the conditions that aren't just one thing. It does great when it's raining and also when it's cold. It does amazing when there's slush and there's snow on the ground, which if you guys didn't know, slush behaves a whole different way than snow does. So WS80 takes our number one spot for one of the best winter tires you can buy right now. So if you're looking for a tire because let's say you just happen to drive an Aston Martin in the winter time and you just don't want to be a pleb driving on some normal winter tires because they only come in a 225, 55, 17 and you want some sporty sizing and some sporty light high profile winter tires, you actually might find out that Blizzak also made a tire for like the 
six of you that would probably ever buy it. But it's actually a very good tire and it's called the LM32. So the LM32 was a tire that was originally designed for the Aston Martin winter lineup and it was something so that they could drive these cars in the winter time. That would also be kind of a sportier style tread design, give you a little bit more of like a low profile tire, but still give you all the benefits of being an actual winter tire. And we found a lot of success with the LM32, especially considering what people want in a winter tire these days is not just function, they want it to also look nice. I have to burp. I forgot to breathe. So the tread compound features a unique polymer tech to enhance the cold weather traction. It does a lot of stuff essentially just to help it with the colder inclement weather. Now it's not going to be as fantastical as the WS80 in terms of like the freezing temperature, but it's going to do a great job at handling the less than stellar temperature. So if you're one of those people that live like let's say in South or North Carolina that sometimes get that weird weather, or maybe you live in North Texas and you pray you lived in South Texas because North Texas actually gets weather, you actually would probably pick up some LM32s because they're going to behave exactly how you want pretty much all the time. You really don't need the WS80s unless you're living in a like a climate that really does need some heavy, aggressive winter tires. Because a lot of times if you're getting a little bit of snow or a little bit of ice or a little bit of slush, you're not gonna need the WS80 because it's more for like the aggressive setups. It's for the people up here in Wisconsin or Canada or Minnesota that get 16 inches of snow overnight and you still have to make it into work the next morning because your boss, Jim, is an hole and he doesn't understand that your house that's 16 miles away is no possible way that any sort of like plow is going to get to your house in a country road. I remember living in the country. Nobody comes to plow the road for like 18 hours and you are stuck inside and it sucks. And in case you guys are wondering from down south, yes, we legitimately do get stuck in our houses sometimes. It's kind of weird. You think it would be fun. It's really not because then you have to plow and I, it's just, this video is bringing back like harrowing visions of like my origin. It's just terrible. So the LM32 has rounded shoulders to promote dry and wet handling. It has stepped independent tread blocks and sipes that helps increase the biting edges to increase grip, which the shoulder is gonna help a lot with. It's gonna help with turning and things like that as well. It also allows the tire to combine winter traction with the H minus V, W minus rated speed quality. It's branded with the three PMSF symbol. So if you guys wanna know what that is, you can go on the internet and look into it because it's boring and only the people that would really tell you that would probably be like somebody that was ordering an IPA at a bar nobody heard of because really it doesn't it doesn't matter it's it's a good tire but the, the come on really we're really gonna do this? I would say one of the coolest things about the LM32 though is the fact that there are like these snow platform indicators that are molded into the tire to tell the driver when the tires, snow, and ice capabilities will be reduced. So it's something that just helps people figure out if the tire is still gonna be able to do what it wants to do. And I mean, that's, that's pretty neat. There's a lot of tires that are getting smarter. There's a lot of tires that are getting more environmentally friendly. And there's some pretty cool stuff coming out there. And the LM32 is kind of one of those tires where you do get to see a little bit more user-friendly technology versus is the WS80, which is just pretty much built to be a tank and to handle everything. And the third one we have is the Firestone Winter Force 2, which sounds like a username I made on the Xbox 360 10 years ago, but at the same time, it is a very good winter tire. If you guys are looking to get out of like the Blizzak sort of range or something like that, and you wanna go into the Firestone range, which is actually a kind of a play on words, but is also a very good tire, this is something that you could honestly pick up. It comes in a lot of pretty decent sizes and the pricing isn't terrible considering what you're buying, especially for winter specific tires. If you guys haven't watched our previous videos, we talk about all seasons versus summer versus winter. Winter being some of the most expensive tires that you can buy right next to summer specific tires. And this is kind of something that's not going to be as pricey, but it's still going to give you a great bang for your budget. Now with the Firestone Winter Force 2, you get like deep circumferential, deep circumferential circles. Wide lateral notches and open shoulder slots that channel slush and standing water away from the contact patch to avoid hydroplaning. It's also a studdable tire as well. So in case you wanted us to stud your tires to be a cool kid on the block, you can actually do this with the Winter Force 2. I had to look at the, the name again because I just can't can't get over the name, Winter Force. It's just kind of a weird name, I'm sorry. Anyway, moving forward. Another thing is it has the high step density tread pattern. You have a lot of biting edges, it helps. The internal structural has twin steel belts, which is super nice. It has a polyester casing to combine strength and ride quality, and it's also branded with all the sorts of symbols and things that you would want to expect from a good winter tire. So if you guys are out there and you're looking at tires and you wanna get something affordable, these might not be your option, in which case, if you're looking for something more affordable, let us know in the comment section below, and you can actually check out winter tires at 
fmnindustries.com, there's the plug. But let us know in the comment section if you want us to talk about different kinds of tires. In our eyes, we've seen a lot of people run these three. We see a lot of people running the WS80. We see a lot of people running the LM32s for a sportier style, more of like a milder winter tire. Then of course, we do see the Winter Force 2 on occasion, not as frequently as the other two, but still something that I think Firestone does pretty well is with that tire. So let us know what you guys want us to talk about next in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries, and we will see you later. Peace.